Hi guys, Ryan the Scary Lion back with another video and well I'm back with another predictions video. Uh, today's predictions is going to be for Super Showdown in Jeddah. They're saying it's the equivalent to Wrestlemania. I'm not happy about that. It, it, it's a glorified house show. It's probably going to be worse than a normal bloody house show. The reoccurring theme throughout these matches is mostly going to be who really cares about this match. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's it's thrown together like really bad. Like it's really poorly thrown together. This fucking is it a pay per view? It's a house show. It's it, it's it's a house show. It's that bad that Thomas didn't even want to be part of the predictions for this. So if that doesn't tell you everything you need to know, then I don't know what will. But I, um, let's actually get into the predictions. So the first match that we've got is the Usos versus the Revival on the kickoff show. Yes, Super Showdown has a kickoff show. Uh. Right, the Usos versus the Revival. Uh, this the build for the storyline between these. I have fucking hated it. I don't think there's a person who's enjoyed this entire storyline like Usi Hot and all that crap and who shaves another man's back. It's grooming. Like, your wrestlers, you can't reach your back, like, properly, and yet you shave everywhere. Of course you got to get somebody else to do it. Who better than your friend? So, I, for, in this match, God, I want to say the Revival. I so want to say the Revival, and I want to hope that the Revival are going to win it. But they're going to have the Usos win, aren't they? So, I, my pick for this is going to be the Usos. Next up, onto the main card and starting off with a terrible, terrible idea for a bloody match. Oh, whoever came up with this idea, uh, probably Vince. Probably Vince. Like, if you haven't listened to the John Moxley uh, podcast, go and check it out. Uh, Talk is Jericho, the John Moxley one. Aye, you get to see the. Well, most of the ideas have to come from Vince. <laughs> But I, this this idea, Jesus Christ! After everything that's happened online, this is uh, Lars Sullivan versus the Lucha House Party for his first match after after the massive scandal with Lars Sullivan. They're having him face three Mexican wrestlers. Just makes sense, doesn't it? There's no win in this. Uh, they're trying to build Lars Sullivan as like. The big undefeatable bastard. Um, so I think having them lose would be very bad considering that the giving them a big push. Uh, it just kind of kill the push. But on, on the same side, after everything that came out, can you really have them win? It'd just be bad PR to have them win this match. So uh, it's a lose lose. Whoever, whoever thought about putting it on. God, you've made a terrible, terrible mistake here. Uh, but my pick for this is going to be... I, I'm going I'm going to go with Lutch House Party. I'm probably going to be wrong on it. But, oh, I just... The PR for this would t be terrible. Just absolutely terrible. Next up, we've got the 50-man uh, Battle Royal. Not too sure exactly who's in it. Uh, so I'm just going to take the Miz... Just gonna take the Miz to win. Hopefully, hey, like to see something actually done with the Miz after this whole storyline with you know, uh, with Shane. Sorry, let let Miz win this. I mean, it's not actually going to do anything, is it? It's not going to push a storyline. It's not going to actually amount to a title shot in the future or anything. It's just going to be a Casey. You won. Whoa. Next up, we have Braun Strowman versus Bobby Lashley. Again, it's another match that we just don't care about. What's the point in this match? Uh, screw it, I'm, t I'm taking Braun. They had that stupid arm wrestling competition. And that, that that's it. Like, what is this show? What is this show? Next up, we've got the Intercontinental Championship match between Finn Balor and Andrade. Now, the one thing that I'm really hoping, they keep saying that we're going to be getting the demon. I hope not, because then we just know for a fact that uh, 
Finn Balor's walking away with the championship. And when it's a match between these two, I just want to see Finn versus Andrade. I'd love to pull for Andrade to actually get the win, get the IC title, and actually just show how fucking good he is. Um, instead of getting put in random storylines and random matches. Don't get me wrong, like... It's just, it's good to just see him on TV, but you want him in a good storyline, and it seems like the, most of the storylines have just been thrown together. Uh, the, the one way Rey Mysterio was fucking brilliant, um, but, uh, but I if, if it's just Finn, not the demon, then I'd love to take Andrade, but the fact that they've been building it as the demon's going to be coming out, it's going to be Finn Balor to win, but hopefully... This will be a very, very good match. They are two incredible fucking athletes. Two of the best on SmackDown, definitely. Uh, so, I... But, uh, since it's been built to be the Demon, I'm going to say that Finn's going to walk away with a victory. Next up, we've got a fucking fantastic match. One we've been waiting for for ages. Wait, no, this is a match that we would have seen years ago, and it's Triple H versus Randy Orton. It's a match we have seen years ago, more than once, and there's no really a storyline here. It's just that it's Triple H versus Randy Orton. Again, another pointless match, and... Do we really care? Let, let's be honest, do we really care? Uh, I'm going to take Trips, just because they're in Saudi, they're going to have Trips get the big pop, and I, th I think, mostly, it's just because, like, the because they're in Saudi, they're getting more control, and they'll want Trips to win it, so I think it's just going to be a bit obvious that Trips gets the win here. Next up, it's Roman Reigns versus Shane McMahon. At least going into this one, there's an actual storyline building, uh, and it looks like it's going to be pushing further at past fucking... Uh, Super Showdown, which, to be fair, is decent at least. We're getting one that's got an actual proper storyline to it. Um, I love I love Shane at the minute. I love that he's that proper heelish bastard who's just like, there's nobody better than me. Yeah, he's still surrounding himself with people who are like, you know, day the work for him, and then he just does these bits at the end after the work's already been done. I absolutely love it. Um... I and I, I'm guessing we're going to get Roman winning this one uh, and then Shane winning again in the future. That's my thought process. I think we're going to get Roman winning at Super Showdown because uh, then I know that uh, the storyline will continue. We've got this whole thing with Drew happening uh, and I've seen something that's led to believe that it might be in the future, a two on one handicap, Drew and Shane versus Roman. Don't know if that's true. Don't buy it as fact. Um, but hey, let's let's see where the storyline builds to. I'm enjoying the stuff with Shane at the minute. I really am. After that, we have the WWE Championship match between Kofi Kingston and Dolph Ziggler. Um, Dolph came back in a pretty meh fashion. Let's be honest. It was he's came back as practically the same character as when he left just a little more whingy like a little more crybaby fashion it's a shame to see i used to really enjoy dolph and now we're getting this bog standard nah kind of character hopefully they do a bit more with him in the future I, I, this is an obvious one again it's gonna it's gonna be kofi kingston actually walking away with a victory on this uh, we know that it's going to push forward, maybe into going back into a Kevin Owens feud, or uh, maybe even getting a feud with somebody else, who knows, but I, Kofi's winning. Now the match we've all been waiting for. Seth Rollins in one corner, Baron Corbin in the other corner, the Universal Championship on the line. A match for the ages. Or is it? At one point, I could see something big happening with Baron Corbin. Um, but then, they kind of just... They, they just flopped him, didn't they? Him being in the title picture is kind of annoying, though. Like... He doesn't even look like main event fucking caliber at the minute. 
just with everything that's been going on, and he's such a fucking interchangeable heel, really. It's just like you could literally pull him out of your storyline, place anybody else in it, and it, it just works still. So, I Seth Rollins is walking away with a victory. There's no much more that needs to be said on that. Seth retains. And then we move on to Goldberg versus The Undertaker. A match that, when I was younger, it would have really excited me. I would have been over the moon to see this match. But, if you've watched The Undertaker's matches as of late, he's not as good as he was. Like, he's, he's, losing, he's losing it a lot. Which, which is a shame to see. I don't want to see The Undertaker retire after we've all just looked at him and gone... You need to retire. I want to, I want him to retire on top. Gone out on a really, really fantastic match. Was surprised that Goldberg was in this match. I was made to believe that his last match was his last match. He, he said that his last match was definitely going to be his last match. So confused. But I, I honestly don't care about this match. It, it would have, it would have got me as a kid, but. No, they're probably going to go with The Undertaker, aren't they? I mean, it's got to be a given that they'd go with The Undertaker. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take The Undertaker, uh, just literally to please the uh, people who are running the event. And there you go. There's my predictions for this Super House Show. I'm just going to call it the Super House Show because it's not a fucking pay-per-view. To call this a pay-per-view is it, it's sacrilege to the actual wrestling. Oh, th this is a wrestling travesty, this whole thing. It's just been thrown together. I think there's like one storyline. Uh, oh, sorry, you've got the Usos in the right with two storylines. And that's it. The rest of it's just, it's there. Here, here's some crap. Take it. Run with it. As for the forfeit, I've got a random number generator on my phone. And I'm going to click generate in a second. Whatever number it lands on. If I get that amount of matches wrong, then I'm going to have to face the punishment that will go through in a minute. So, three, two, one. <laughs> I got one. Oh. Right, if I get one or more match matches wrong, um, I have to face the punishment. The punishment is going to be uh, that so uh, I, I said to Sophie, she can pick any video that she wants. She can date any video she wants on my channel. Uh, apparently she wants to interview me, so it's going to be an interview, no holds bars, she can ask anything she wants, and I have to answer. So, I hope, hopefully she doesn't go in too deep, but she probably will. Uh, and also, at the end of this video, she's going to get to slap me as hard as she can, right across the face. So, I'm giving you two, two in one there. Uh, Sophie's looking forward to it, she keeps saying to me, you dare realise I'm not going to hold back. And I'm like, I, 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 I want you to go as hard as you can. And she goes, no, I will not hold back. I'm like, fair enough then. But I, um, it should be a pretty decent punishment. Um, as for punishments for uh, the last Double or Nothing and uh, TakeOver, that video will be out on Saturday, I think. Uh, Saturday, I need to wait for Thomas to come here and record. But I um, look forward to that and Super Showdown is on Friday so I will be putting out my here's what happened on Friday as well. Uh, but I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, look forward to Super House Show better than Res Wrestlemania. But if you said like this video, don't forget to buttfuck that like button. Peace.